The Chicago Freedom Movement, otherwise known as the Chicago Open Housing Movement, was primarily led by three people, Martin Luther King Jr., James Bevel, and Al Rabi. The main objective of the Chicago Open Housing Movement was to share the segregation and racial inequality within Chicago housing, but their goals also included showing inequality within other areas in Chicago, such as labor, healthcare, crime and justice, education, and much more. According to Stanford.edu, the groundwork for the Chicago Freedom Movement was laid when Al Rabi, speaking for the Coordinating Housing Community Organization, or CCCO, asked Martin Luther King Jr. to come to Chicago to help with the movement. According to PBS, the leaders of the Southern Christian Leadership Council, or SCLC, had been looking to do work outside of the South in order to show that segregation not only took place in the South, but also in the North. And King heartily agreed to come, moving with his wife and daughters from Montgomery, Alabama to Chicago, Illinois. At this, the Chicago Freedom Movement began in earnest, marking the first major alliance between the Coordinating Council of Community Organizations, the Southern Christian Leadership Council, and the American Friends Service Committee, a Quaker organization. The main objective of the Chicago Freedom Movement was to gain equality in housing, and to do so it declared its intention to end ghetto slums within the city which were often filled with crime, disease, and trash, and almost solely inhabited by Blacks. As stated within the Global Nonviolent Action Database, on July 10, 1966, a giant rally was held in Soldier's Field, with more than 35,000 people in attendance, which is a huge amount of people, 35,000. This was the first giant freedom rally, according to a UPI news story which ran the next day. By late July, the Chicago Freedom Movement was staging regular rallies outside of banks and real estate offices, and marches into all-white neighborhoods. The response to these marches and rallies were almost always hostile, sometimes even turning violent. One example of this is an August 5th march through an all-white neighborhood in which bottles and bricks were thrown at the marchers, and King was struck by a rock. Afterwards, Martin Luther King noted that, I have seen many demonstrations in the South, but I have never seen anything so hostile and so hateful as I have seen here today. The original purpose of this quote is obviously to draw attention to the racism within Chicago, that we can gain an understanding of how people were retaliating within the Chicago Freedom Movement and the Civil Rights Movement in general. Though we do have to take into account that the statement was undoubtedly hyperbole and is also only the view of Martin Luther King Jr. By the end of August, Mayor, Mayor Daley was quite eager to find a way to end these demonstrations. This led to a few concessions, including public housing projects and mortgages available equally to everyone, regardless of race. Though there were a few steps back after this, it finally led to the Fair Housing Bill of 1968. This was both a success for the Chicago Freedom Movement and the Civil Rights Movement in general.